Welcome to Daily 5 for Monday, June 19th, 2023. I'm sure many of you listening have heard or read something about the ongoing back and forth, or really, I guess the the one-way street. Back and forth indicates that both sides are getting somewhere, but this really is a one-way kind of quote-unquote battle, if you want to even put it that way, with, with the website Reddit. Now, Reddit I have seen called... <laughs> Alternately, the front page of the internet, the last page of the internet, and for many people, it's a site that they have relied on, in many cases, on a daily basis to go and read their different threads and various news art- articles, that type of thing. Essentially, it's a huge database, for anybody who's never used it, of threaded Threaded communities, sub-communities, there's Reddit, there's subreddits of all different kinds. I've used it on multiple occasions to actually solve technical problems. I have found answers on Reddit for problems I was running into with different hardware, with game controllers, stuff like that, that were nowhere else. Uh, I don't go to it every day the way some people do, so I'm not as reliant as others are. But I understand its value, and I certainly have used it at times to great effect. So recently, Reddit uh, announced that they are going to be introducing a new pay structure for apps that are using their API or using APIs to access Reddit's backend. So essentially, if you've ever used an app for anything like Twitter or Facebook or whatever that isn't produced by the company, what's considered a first party client or app, you are using a client that is using an API of some kind generally, unless they're doing something really weird to access the information to be able to display the site or you let you comment or whatever you're doing. And there have been a number of these for Reddit because many people find that the native Reddit app, which they didn't even always have one, but they have one now is not really that great. And one of the creators of one of the more popular apps, Apollo really started us all off when he started publicizing what was going on. And a number of subreddits did a 48 hour blackout where they basically went offline or went dark as they would call it. And a lot of them have come back, but a lot of them remain dark and many are committing to do it indefinitely. But the Reddit CEO or the CEO of Reddit, to use proper grammar, has said that basically they don't care. They have not seen any impact on how much money they're making and they're going to wait it out that they think that most people and most of these subreddits will eventually come back. They've also announced that they might just start assigning new administrators and moderators to app to subreddits that don't provide anybody to watch over them. So that's their other way around it, essentially kind of a scab system, if you want to use a union equivalent, I think. And, you know, a lot of people are upset about that. They've said that this is a really, you know, that that the CEO is wrong and that that he's, you know, getting he's he's picking a bad hill to die on and stuff like that. But honestly, I think he's right. I think he's got the correct perspective on this. I don't think he's right in what Reddit is doing. I'm not saying that. I think he has assessed the situation correctly. This is not going to last. Most of these reds are going to come, uh, subreddits are going to come back online or they'll have alternate moderators or admins that will take them over. And it's not going to hurt their profits one bit. And so they're going to keep doing what they're doing because most people don't commit to the things that they say they're going to protest. That's just the reality. You can see it everywhere. There's lots of things where people have gotten really upset and really angry about it. And I, I, I will not stand for this. And then very shortly thereafter, they start standing for it. They can whine a lot about it. They'll post it on Twitter and Facebook and have an Instagram post where they're screaming into a microphone. But a week later, they're back to using whatever they said they were and these protests don't last. Think about it from a video game perspective. People complain about DLC, games that ship broken, all this type of thing. And yet they still pre-order. They still buy games when DLC isn't even out. They don't wait to buy Game of the Year editions at half price or simply refuse to buy a game that doesn't perform well upon review. And guess what? Video games still come out broken with tons of DLC that just try to nickel and dime everybody. If people stop doing that, they wouldn't make games like that anymore. It's that simple. So the Reddit CEO has it correct. Most people are going to whine and complain for a couple of days, 48 hour blackout. What a nonsensical thing that was. The, The fact that they put a timer on it is just bonkers. But even if they hadn't, most people, especially the ones who depend on this every day, they're not going to find alternatives. They might try them here and there, but they're still going to come back to it. That's why I never said I was going to quit Twitter because until there is a viable alternative and it's one that I think will last, I'm not going to make an empty promise. I have been using Blue Sky and Mastodon. I've been enjoying them, but I also still use Twitter. Now that may change at some point, but it isn't today. And I think most people won't even be that transparent about what they're doing. They're going to say, I'm not going to use Reddit. This is an outrage. And then a week from now, they're going to be using Reddit again. So maybe I'll be wrong. We'll see. But in this case, as much as I hate to say it, I think the CEO has it right. Later.